Greetings. Today we're talking about Meghan and Harry. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's said that the enterprising Duchess of Sussex has once again shown her ingenuity by relying on the generosity of her husband's rich and famous relatives. According to Royal Report's sources, Meghan thought she might try her luck with Prince Harry's uncle, Earl Charles Spencer, who has always openly referred to the family's Altherp estate as Diana's home. In this very Altherp, Lady Di's brother set up a museum in honor of his famous sister, and it was an Altherp that the Queen of Hearts found her final resting place. So won't Uncle Charles help his favorite sister's son and daughter-in-law with a place to live? And it's now quite clear why the Sussexes are thinking of taking the surname Spencer. The Earl of Spencer has announced that all four wings of the house, open to the public during the summer season, are the family home of Lady Diana Spencer, the source said. Upon hearing the announcement, Meghan Markle expressed interest in holding a secret meeting with Earl Spencer to discuss the possibility of the Sussexes receiving a gift of some portion of the property. A gift. You know what I mean? A gift. Althorpe is the Spencer family home. Meghan can't understand why Harry's relatives are all so rich and own so much real estate, but Harry gets nothing from anyone. Visitors who come to the House Museum of Princess Diana give money to Earl Spencer, and her youngest, as well as the eldest, sons have no benefit from it. Although Charles Spencer himself responded to such a question by saying that all the money goes to repair and maintain Diana's house museum and memorial, not into his pocket. As for the House of Althorpe, part of which Meghan had hoped for, she was in for a big disappointment. Both in the case of the family name and the house, Diana's brother rejected Harry's wife's offers, fearing that Meghan was not interested in the values of the ancient Spencer family, but in her lust for profit. Charles Spencer declared that the Altherp estate will pass entirely to his eldest son Louis Frederick John Spencer, who will become the ninth Earl Spencer. Such are the rules of succession in Great Britain. Although the rule of male primogeniture is already considered outdated, Charles Spencer decided to continue the tradition of his ancestors, considering it right that the estate should be managed by a son who will preserve the family heirlooms and can take over the management of the property. This is because being the owner of Altherp is not only a great honor, but also a hassle, involving huge material costs. The Earl of Spencer reasoned that his daughters would not want to shoulder the burden. I think his decision is the right one. Don't you think so?